Truth Be Told Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March 20th, I do believe. Sorry, I should have looked ahead of time. And you know I didn't, because that would be preparing. It is the 12th Tuesday of the year. Oh my gosh, this is the most consistent I've ever been on making some videos. I realize I didn't get any other videos up this past week. Sorry. Crazy week. Very busy. It'll show up in my Snapchat vlog in about two months, I'm sure. That's how my life works. Anyway, thank you for coming back, new friends and seasoned friends. There's a nice core group of us. I know this video is not for everybody, and that's fine. That's kind of how I've always said my channel is. I will post and make it very clear what the video is about, and if it's not your thing, you don't have to watch it. It's okay. But it's Truth Be Told Tuesday. Last qu last week was a lot of fun. Well, Kim and I had a lot of fun filming it, obviously, um, talking about superstitions. And of course, as soon as I asked Eddie, because um, he didn't respond, I don't know if he watched it or not. Whoa. You're not boring. I'm boring. Anyway. Ah. I was asking for his help, like, what to title it. You know, I always like to come up with a little snippet question. And, of course, he can't answer me. He pulls out his phone, looks up YouTube, and starts playing the song Superstitious by Stevie Wonder for inspiration so I could find it. But, anyway, I don't think he told me if he had an answer. But you guys had some great answers. There are some of the common ones, which I'd heard of before. Totally forgot about Knock on Wood. Hello, I do that all the time. Um... And there were some I had not heard of before, and the majority of you had not heard of my lick my finger, stick it to the roof of the car when you, and shut your eyes <laughs> when you go under a bridge. I think one, one friend out there had heard of that. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> at least I know I'm not completely alone. There were other things though tied with like going over railroad tracks. Oh my goodness, why am I yawning? I'm so sorry. I should start over, but I'm not going to because I'm already still at work way later than I want to be. I'm not working anymore. Anyway, um, there were some other things regarding railroad tracks, bridges, um, but you're, you're reading them right now. I've been posting them so you could see them, but thanks you guys. That was a very fun question, I thought. So I'm on my own today. Um, Eddie's on the road somewhere. Kim and I did have our lunchtime together, but I needed her to help me do some packing and labeling, you know, post office stuff, and I didn't have time to film. So I'm on my own to come up with a question. And the only thing I can think of right now is because of this. Look at the bird's nest. You know, we call my bangs, we meaning me, the bird's nest, because they are always even when I like work and think they look nice and then I catch myself in the mirror I'm like oh my gosh it looks like a bird's nest so we're having a hairy discussion today so this isn't really a one question because again I'm on my own and I can't keep things short and concise I'm just curious about your hair cutting routine maybe that's it um First of all, I'm curious to know how many of you actually cut your own hair or like your bangs because I've tried to cut my bangs. You would think it's not that hard. It's hard. I'll mess it up. And my stylist would be like, um, you cut your bangs, didn't you? And I'm like, oh, yeah. You can tell kind of like when you tell the dentist, oh, no, I've been flossing every day. They can tell. So I'm curious how many of you are actually talented enough to cut your own hair. Bangs. And um, or if you have to go to the salon and if you go to the salon we're just gonna say the salon because it sounds fancy um do you have like a regular stylist that you go to or do you go to like the um great clips um fantastic sam's walmart has a hair place where you just do like a walk-in thing and to you it doesn't matter who actually does it you just like oh i need a haircut i have time i'm gonna go or are you a barber person um I'm just kind of curious to know. I have to have a set schedule, which it is tomorrow. Thank goodness. Couldn't be, you know, that Tuesday was, you know, I could be filming after and maybe my hair looked better. But every four weeks, I go in and get my hair trimmed. Actually, just my bangs. So four weeks, I just go in for a trim and the face waxing. But that's a whole nother discussion. It's mentioned every now and then, especially on Snapchat. Anyway, so... <laughs> 
every, you know, four weeks, so like tomorrow I'll go just get my bangs cut. And then in another four weeks, I will go in and get like a full cut trim. And then I don't do a full color. She just does a touch up the roots, the grays. But now I have a new stylist. So got to see how we do there. So every four weeks, I'm getting my bangs trimmed. And it's either we call it the full or the mini. So that's how it works for me. And I have to find someone. I used to do, I've gotten both. I've had like a set stylist. And then there's, you know, times in my life where whatever it doesn't matter I mean I'm so not picky about my hair um, granted I'm not gonna like just go in and say oh do whatever you want but it's like I kind of tell him you know it's got some natural curl it looks like a lot of hair but it's not it's actually pretty thin especially it's thinning really badly up on top anyway um, you know when I have it this style which I've had for a long time I'm like just keep the length clean up the ends keep it in layers and trim the bangs. So they usually can't mess it up too bad. I have had them like not realize that there's natural curl and they like cut the bangs really short and then when you know when they're wet and then when they're dry they go whoop and they're like really short they spring up and it's like yeah those are a couple awkward awkward week or two while it grows out but so yeah I'm just curious do you cut your own hair and do you have to go to that have to but do you have a set stylist who always does your hair or do you just roll the random hair roulette wheel and take who's ever available i think those are really my only hair questions right now because that's all i can think about because mine is driving me nuts this is when i reach the point of trying to cut my own bangs but i have learned show restraint show restraint Okay, friends, that's all short and simple this week, even though I still babbled a lot more than I needed to. So comment down below in the description box, or you can pop over on Snapchat. I will. I always try to remember, I've been getting better, um, to ask the question, because that's where this originated for me, was on Snapchat. Truth Be Told Tuesday started on my Snapchat, and I don't always remember to ask it out there but I've been trying so if you watch me there you can snap me back your answer or you can send me a message you can go to our Facebook spicy cat jams page find me on Instagram spicy cat jams wherever you want to be on social media if you want me to know let me know and come back next week and we'll see what everybody said I should have I'm not smart enough to do like a poll I could have just asked these questions as a poll <sighs> someday but my hair is too much in my eyes to make me think straight <laughs> okay guys I'm out of here have a fabulous fabulous day it's supposed to be snowing while you're watching this here in my corner of the world we'll see how much it is right now I just gotta go home it's garbage night because you know I'm filming Monday night gotta take the garbage out scoop the poop the exciting exciting life of Kathy not at all. But you know what is exciting? What's exciting for me every single day? You. All of my friends out here, every one of you that is still hanging on, listening to me ramble, you matter. You make my life so much better. Even when I have crazy hair, I can always see through the fringe and see you. And you are important. You are beautiful. I don't care if you chop all your hair off, if you cut it with a pinking shears. I had a friend who did that in elementary school. Anyway, I mean, I think you're beautiful just the way you are. So don't ever doubt it because it's true. I love you guys and I will see you again soon. <laughs>